Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the stock of Catapult Holdings. Now, if you go through the recent press release, you will see that the stock is soaring following news of partnership between Amazon and Affirm Holdings. So the company's core lease to own service do not require user to pass a credit check. So these are couple of updates and also the stock is rebounding after a big sell off followed by its Q2 release earlier this month. So there are two or three highlight points that you need to look at but uh, obviously the main will be the uh, so FM's holding consumer financing are being integrated into the Amazon's e-commerce marketplace allowing user to purchase items at no initial cost and then pay them to pay them off in installments so this is what we have and uh, obviously market needs trigger uh, this this may be there may not be there it doesn't matter but uh, obviously after the uh, fed chairman's new speech uh, about the taper tantrum and what they are thinking about uh, bond purchasing or you know uh, squeezing their purchase or uh, they want to limit out their purchase so it's obviously gave a positive sentiment to the overall market also when uh, these kind of news are there it gives uh, the momentum to any particular stock and we have seen how the stocks has been moving specifically the nasdaq related stocks because they are high beta counters they are high beta stocks and they move and react uh, very fast to the news now as far as the trend is concerned so this is the price chart of catapult holdings and if you can see over here what we have here is something like this so the stock has started moving and jumped quite sharply uh, in a single day trading session so it made a low of 3.12 which will be your referral point on the downside right now and this is the stop loss below which one should not uh, carry or take any trade on the downside right so don't go below 3.12 on the downside and for the time being as far as the upside is concerned the first level that we need to look at will be 7.83 right 7.83 is the first level that we need to look at after that we have 9.28 and then we have our third resistance these are not targets these are i would say uh, you better call it as your resistance levels so you have three resistance levels starting with 7.83 and can go up to 9.91 if the stock sustain above 9.91 after the breakout then it may rebound and go back to its previous high which will start with uh, here we are which will start with uh, 14.94 or 15 dollars and can go up to a high or its previous high of 19 dollars so understand this thing when the chart uh, is moving or how the chart is moving is simply like this so it has started moving from its lower end of the range and it is moving towards the higher end of the range where it will face its primary resistance starting with so this zone between 7.83 and 9.91 or 10 dollars will be a zone of resistance only if the stock crosses and sustain above 10 dollars you have for 15 and 19 dollars respectively so this is the end of the video thanks for watching